Hello, somebody's there already. Hello, hello. There. Kawana is here. Ruth is here. Hey, guys. Joy, Stacy, Mariah, you guys are here. Y'all are ready. I feel like it's been forever since I've hung out with you all, but I guess it hasn't been that long, huh? It feels like it, though. What are you guys over there doing? Hey, Latrice. It's been a week. Okay. All right. Just a week then. Seems like forever. Oh, this is good. Hey, princess. Ah, you like my nails? I finally changed them. Oh, somebody's eating lasagna. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, nails finally changed. Hey, Miss Lady Diva. Hmm. Hey, Lacey. Yeah, everybody, you know, I'm the same way. My name kind of changes, too. Oh, you're matting a gatefold album. I need to be doing some matting right now, but I'm not. But I should be. All right, you guys ready for me to do this December daily? Penelope, is that you? That is too funny. You guys ready to do this December daily? I don't know if I'm going to be able to decorate it today. I don't know. We'll just see kind of how it goes. Because when I tell you I have not prepped, not one bit. Nope. I did make some tea. It's strawberry lemonade tea. My voice is... I should say my throat feels not sore, but something's going on. So not that I need an excuse to drink tea, but this is strawberry lemonade tea from Tivana. Strawberry lemonade inside the silicone tea bag. I love tea. Love it. Love it. Love it. So we're going to see if YouTube lets me be great and see if it, they kick me off or let's just see what happens. You guys always talk about how you don't have chipboard. I get a lot of comments like, what do I do if I don't have chipboard? I have chipboard, but I've decided that I am not going to use chipboard. I'm going to use a cereal box so people can see what to do if you don't have chipboard or if you don't have chipboard readily available. It's not blurry good. Yes, you know what? I think it goes blurry when I am. Well, I don't know. Let me not even start why stuff goes blurry because who knows? Who knows? But I am going to use a cereal box. What? It's happening. Mm. And I'm also getting ready to knock my tape runner into my teeth. All bad. Latrice, do you need stamps to make cards? Do you do you have do you have um, uh, an electronic die cutting machine? And do you have 
Actually, it doesn't even, do you have a die cutting machine, period? You have the maker? Oh, no, you don't need stamps to make cards, no. You can make the cards with nothing but your maker. I like to stamp. I am a stamper. It's just something else to add. It's another dimension. It's another craft. And I like it. So I use stamps. But do you have to have stamps to make cards? Absolutely not. People make cards all the time with just die cuts. But it might be something that you, it turns out that you like. So maybe you want to try it. Oh, yeah. You're talking about uh, the um, your book of memories. She sure does use those ABC boards. And they just look so hard to me. I'm like, how are you doing that? She's amazing. I love her stuff. I don't know if I've made any of her. I can't remember if I've made any of her designs. But I love to watch her. So this December daily is the same thing that I did for Halloween. So I, d I don't know how long it's going to take me to make this. If you get annoyed and you have to tap out or whatever, do it. Because the tutorial for the actual album is already up. So don't even worry about it. Don't feel like you got to try to catch the whole thing. You don't. You guys are just hanging with me while I craft simply because I guess you feel like it. Because the tutorial for what I'm doing is already up on my YouTube channel. <laughs> you having fun through watching me? Well, good. I'm glad. Well, you guys can hang out with me anytime. I love hanging out with you guys. I tell you guys, you guys give me a recharge, all that I much needed recharge that I need through the week. Much, much needed. But we are hoping and praying for a change to come in my situation. So my stress level comes down. And I promise you, the less stressed I am, the better crafter I am. So we'll see. We shall see. Ooh, Kawana, you ordered some cap. I have a Catherine Pooler box behind me right now. And I know what's in it. And I'm very excited about what's in it. Catherine Pooler. Oh, yeah. What's up, Miss Missy Poo? What you doing? Stacy, I hope I do. I hope I say something that inspires you. Or I hope something happens and you're like, yes. That is what I needed to see. That is what I needed to hear. Catherine Pooler needs a um, an affiliate program because we are loving on her so much. And I am so glad about that. Because you guys will be pleased with her inks, I believe. I am. I just ordered some more, just like you guys. Open it. You want me to go get it? Where is this on the table? Where is that thing? Hey, Miss J, what's going on? Kawana, now that you got that waterfall done, though, you could do it again a whole lot easier. I know the first time doing anything is difficult, but once you've done it, it's, it's done. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. All right. We have the new, I, oh, I just couldn't wait to get this ink pad. Then we have Samba, which is a kind of a red. And then we have Mardi Gras. So these are the three new colors that she just released. 
And then I grabbed another block. I love these blocks. I find that most stamps, a lot of stamps fit on this size and they're just so comfortable. I love Catherine Pooler blocks. Also guys, the one from AliExpress that I ordered finally came in and I am very interested to see if there is a difference between this stamp set and the original. I can't, I can't wait. Um, where's the original set? I haven't opened either. Oh, the size, the size is the difference. I haven't opened either size yet, either one yet, because I want to do it at the same time. But I think that's just terrible. How can you just duplicate somebody's work like this and then sell it? it this is not good, but this is much smaller. I can tell you that right now. Look at the size difference. Can you guys see it? I don't know if the quality is different, but the size... They just took somebody's stuff and knocked it right off. Interesting. I was designing what I wanted to do with this card yesterday. And if, with the stamp set yesterday, if, if, if I think there's going to be some cool things that we can do with this. I think. I'm excited about it. Uh, I guess in their minds, it makes it not the same. But if you look at this, this is the same stamp. Look at this. Look at this stamp set. They're the same. Just wrong. Just wrong. But I'm going to do a video comparing the two to see what on earth they were thinking. Boy, I'm excited about it. I'm so excited about this one here. We're going to see this a lot in the stamp series, I'm sure. Because I got a lot of people asking for royal blue. So now I have a royal blue for sure. Sunshine, that these, these stamp sets are just, they're perfect. Especially if you're starting out, that's who, I, that's who I suggest. That's my recommendation. That's who I stand by. Good old Catherine Pooler. I was watching her live the other day and I made a comment and she, was, she totally knows who I am. And I was shocked as I don't know what. Because she is the big time. And she totally knows. She and her group. Her, her crew was like, oh yeah, we've been watching your videos. Oh yeah, you've been watching me? What? Princess, I got mine from Butterfly Reflections. I like that company too. But you can get it from Alta New if they have it in stock. When I bought mine, Alta New didn't have theirs in stock. So I was like, shoot. But Butterfly Reflections did. Butterfly Reflections Inc. I think it's Butterfly Reflections Inc. I'm going to do another video of all the stamp sets that I'll be using for the series too. So if people like one of my cards, they know exactly where to get it. Or if they're just anticipating that they're going to like that stamp set and want to play with it, they'll know where to get it and what I'm using. That's right. You did. You did that big order from Butterfly Reflections Inc. that night, right? Let's see. I'm going to cut these right now. I'm going to use my workhorse of a trimmer and use this Cutter Pillar Pro. All right. You know what, Sunshine? I should. I wasn't. Because if you go back through my videos, I talk about everybody's everything. And then usually underneath my videos, I have a link to where you can go purchase the stuff. And I try to do the same thing on my blog. So if there's ever something I say and you're like, what? You can probably find it on one of the videos that's specific to it. But this, so this video right here, Sunshine, this, this one is just me doing my Halloween album again in Christmas colors. 
so that tutorial is already done. First, I'm just going to square this sucker up. Let's just square it. Mm, it's going to wiggle on me today, huh? Ooh, ooh, I think I just broke my Caterpillar Pro on camera. Hmm. That's new. New plan. New plan. It didn't like the cardboard. New plan. No worries. Where there's a will, there is a way. Let's do this. Oh, Phyllis. What's going on, Phyllis? See me tearing up stuff? That has never happened before. It's all right. We are just going to fix that by doing this. Do I want to use this blade? Do I have another blade? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do this. This just wants to be a difficult day already. That's all right. I am up for the challenge. You said you just tossed a cereal box? I, you know what I did? Um, I was able to put it back. I don't know. I don't know why it didn't. I don't know why it didn't cut that. That's not my usual experience. So I'm just going to say, hey, maybe it was tired today. And I'm not standing up. And usually I'm standing up on a different surface. So who knows? I am not going to sweat it. I was able to pop that sucker back where it was supposed to go. Still a big fan of that that cutter. <laughs> that is too funny. You know, stuff that I never want to act up until you're on camera, and then it says, "Oh no, we're not going to work right today." Fine by me. I love to show people how I fix stuff. Because stuff does not always work for me or anybody else. So, hey, as long as we can fix it. <laughs> the
this piece right here, I cut it two and a half by eight. This one here, I'm going to cut at five by eight. Five. This must have gotten warm because now it's cutting all the way through this cardboard one fell swoop before I was cutting the front and back. Whatever. I'll take it. Perfect. And one more piece. And then I can stop fighting with my with my trimmers, y'all. How do you have time for that? You guys still with me? Again, for anybody who's just popping on, these directions in the actual tutorial for this video are already up on my channel under the uh, Halloween December Daily tutorial. Right now, I'm just making my own for this December Daily. I'm excited about doing a December Daily. I'm curious to know what my feelings are going through the holidays. And this will be the best way to track it. How many of you guys are actually going to do a December daily out there? All right. Cereal boxes. <laughs> you guys thinking about it because of me? Cool. We're gonna try it. I get it, Stacy. I complete I completely understand, but I think I can jot, jot down a few a few words. And usually I take a picture during the day anyway. I don't care if a picture is of a screenshot of something. I usually use my camera at least once a day. So whatever it is that I take a picture of that day, that's what it's gonna be. I think that'll be really interesting to look back on and say, what was she thinking? What was I thinking back in the day on that particular day? What was I thinking about craft wise or whatever, whatever. Mariah, I don't think this book is a difficult one. Go ahead, Steph, get it. And this isn't a difficult one to do, in my opinion, and it's small. I feel like things that are small are not intimidating, not as intimidating in a way. They're tiny. How can it be intimidating? It's little. Mm -hmm. 
And um, one picture a day, you know, I have a HP sprocket and that'll get me to use my sprocket too. and just print it out. Oh, Mariah, okay. This might be a fun one to start with. Maybe, maybe this one will be a fun one to start with. I need, I'm gonna build my spine out of black 110 pound. No, 100 pound. I don't know why I always say 110 pound. I don't own any 110 pound paper. I own 100 pound paper, the heavyweight cardstock, but not 110 pound. This first one I'm cutting at one and one eighth. Actually, I could just cut the whole thing at seven and three quarters first. How about that? This is probably left over from the last time I did it. Seven and three quarters. And we will do one and one eighth. Latrice, how do I sell them? I don't. You guys know I usually don't craft or pay, right? I have some stuff. That's not true. Let me say I sell my canvases, like my large paintings and stuff like that. I sell those. But my albums and things like that, I usually don't. I very, very, very rarely craft or pay. I do have some coming up that I'm going to sell. And I'm going to put those up on eBay. And once they're gone, they're gone and moving on. And I only do one off. So if you see something that you like that I've made, you better get it. You better get it because, you know, I'm not doing that again. Very, very, very rarely do you see me do anything twice. One and seven eighths. And then we'll do another one at two and five eighths. <clears throat> Which ones are beautiful? What you talking about, Latrice? What did I do? I did something. Oh, my canvases. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of my canvases. I... When I'm in the mood, thank you. I sure do appreciate that. When I'm in the mood and everything that I do is a little weird. You guys know that. I like to be a little different. So my canvases are different. They're unlike canvases that you see regularly. People are just kind of starting to get on the texture bandwagon. But if it doesn't have texture, I didn't paint it or I didn't create it. I forgot those are on there. I don't show my art art very often. My art art. <laughs> I don't show my canvases and stuff very often. When I tell you guys that tea is delicious, if you guys are into tea, Tivana strawberry lemonade tea is just delicious. I'm scoring each of these pieces at three eighths. I'm going to count these eights. One, two, and three. Latrice, January the 7th. I got a birthday coming up, y'all. 
It's coming. Is that Shanti Ray? Is that you? <laughs> Latrice, that's how it's supposed to be. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I'm the same way. Depending upon who I'm watching or what they're doing, I get inspired and then I go on a tangent of buying stuff. You guys see my no buy October. <laughs> Shot to, oh, no. That was just, I don't even know why I was doing it. Because now is not the time for that. It would be different if I wasn't trying to do a series to bring you guys new crafts and inspiration. Now, how am I going to not buy? How? How? That just wasn't smart. Mariah, if you don't have the board I'm scoring on, you grab a ruler. And um, hopefully you have a stylus. And you just put it right there. Like that. And measure out three eighths, mark three eighths, and then just run your stylus down and it'll do the same thing. But if you are a paper crafter and you're thinking about being a paper crafter, you should really invest in a bone folder. And they have some that are inexpensive. My preference is, of course, the world's most, most expensive one. This sucker right here is expensive. It's a bone folder. But for whatever reason, when you're folding heavyweight cardstock, it doesn't mark into your paper. I don't know. It's some kind of sorcery, and that's a Teflon bone folder. All of my tools that I use are up on either my YouTube channel under the tools one or on my blog. There's a whole section of the tools that I use. Shanti Ray, please. You're not going to talk to me. Yep, bone folder, just like that. Martha Stewart has one that I like that's at Michael's right now. Joanne has some. You'll see them. They come, that little yellow thing that I was just using, I have a bunch of them. They come with envelope punches and everything. Lorraine, I, I get it. Did you see any paper pads that you're really into right now? I'm taking the smallest and the largest one right now. And I'm going to reach for this. This is something else I recommend purchasing. I don't know if I talked about it. I think this is on my page. I don't know. The I have another one, the older version, but you want this one. Latrice is in. You need to make some more boxes or you need to go purchase some boxes. Or you need me to make boxes so you can be inspired by boxes. I don't even know why I said that. I have no need to bot to make any more boxes right this second. <laughs> what do you mean you can't figure this thing out? I love this thing. It comes with everything you need to know. And you know, every time I make a card, it comes with an envelope. So it comes with an envelope that matches. So my last card that I made was this puppy right here. And I have the, um, everybody thinks this is honeycombs. This is a quilt, but whatever. Whatever makes you guys happy. Everything has to come with an envelope. I love envelopes. Look at that. And it's so sturdy and it matches the card. And oh, you guys, envelope punches are just the loves of my life i love them love them love them love them so much so much so much perfect you can find this at michael's i want to say where did i buy mine did i get my i don't remember where i got mine but you can find it just about anywhere. This one might have come from Amazon. That'll work. Ruth, it's the same thing. I just like this one, this particular style, because it has this. It has this extender. 
And oftentimes I make large, funky sized cards that need to go past this score line. The first one they made stopped right here. And I was like, but, but wait, I need to keep going. I need a guide. And this one here has that. So that's why we're in love with this one. That and the fact that it has um, bows and we love bows. Yep. If you, you get it at Michael's, this is a coupon item because I want to say they want to try to sell it to you for 30 and we're not doing that. Tuesday morning, perfect, Jay. Perfect. I'm punching a notch at two and three quarters on this smallest strip and the largest strip. And I'm just gonna flip this around and flip it over. So I have it on both sides. <laughs> Shanti Ray, but you have it just in case you need it. You know, there is a big difference between people who buy arts and craft supplies and people who use arts and craft supplies. And I find that I am on both sides of that. The other day I was purchasing at Michael's and I was buying stuff that I don't really necessarily have a plan for. Not exactly. I should say I kind of have a plan for it one day. I might use it, but I honestly just wanted to own it. I'm pushing this. This one here has this bow guide. So I'm just making sure that it's lined up with that and I'm pushing it right in there. And then I'm going to notch the corner. Do the same thing on the other side. Well, today Michaels is Michaels has their fifty running now, so everybody should be able to. I went in. Michael's yesterday and used that 60% off coupon, which made me very, very happy. None. What box did you just make? What box? And how, why is it so big? What you putting in it? Can you guys hear my husband snoring? I think it's so funny that he's over there just to snore. <laughs> he just got off of work this morning and he's sleeping. We went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles this morning for breakfast and now he's sleeping and he's snoring. So if you guys hear him, just ignore him. I do. <laughs> This one here, I'm going to do it three and seven eighths on either side. This is the middle piece. Ha, <laughs> you miss Roscoe's, huh? It's okay. We were mad because you guys are going to laugh. We finished eating and we were checking out. And they usually have a candy dish and some toothpicks. But they were like, oh, we can't do that anymore. Like some kids that choked at the Hollywood one. 
on the candy and some man had an incident with the toothpick. So now we don't offer the, who gives people chicken with no toothpicks. Like what, what's happening? What is happening? Sybil, no worries. This is the one, two, three envelope punch board. If you watch any of my videos, you'll know all I do is make cards. And if I make a card, it's got to have an envelope. So these are, this is the envelope punch board, basically. It makes a box and some bows too, but we like it because it's got an extending arm. So if you are a card maker or thinking about being a card maker, I strongly advise that you get this too. They let kids eat the, no, the candy. They used to have them little old school, hard round candies that are like red, green, and yellow. You guys know what I'm talking about. They're old. They're old school candies. And they used to have those and now they don't. So sad. Yeah, Shanti Ray, you can make a box with it too. Oh, did I notch the edges of this? I did. Yes, they are. Can you guys see this? I don't know if I captured it on the video, but the size, the width of this fits perfectly in between the two. So you see this? I'm going to fit it perfectly between there all the way down. And see it fits. Love that. And then this one will fit between the other one. No, they're not for kids. <laughs> no, they're not. And if you give a baby or a small child a piece of candy, first of all, they need to be old enough to eat the candy. And second of all, you need to be watching them like a hawk so they don't do something. Like try to run around or walk around with candy in their mouth. You know how kids do. You know how that goes. Okay. Shanti Ray, if you're making cards, yeah, you might as well start using it. Why not? Why not? Anybody thinking about following along or making cards for Christmas this year? Anybody actually going to make cards, holiday cards? You want to make a few? Good, good. Hey. Hey, Maya. What's going on? I'm just applying glue down the center, and then I'll just center it. And I said I wasn't doing anything holiday related until we came out of October. So much for that, right? So much. Oh, it's Rosalind. Everybody in these names. 
everybody in these new names on YouTube. I got to get used to it. Jay, which papers did you end up getting? I don't remember if you told me already. Sybil, you can make the envelopes. You can do it. It's not difficult. I promise. Hey, Benina. <laughs> yeah, Penelope, you need to make, um, you need to make, let me roll my husband over. Hold on a second. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so, mm-hmm. Envelope flip books. I haven't done one in a long time. I used to. I used to make envelope flip books all the time. Here are the little baby ones that I bought. I am so excited to see these guys. So excited. I liked this one, but it had all those animals in the large one. And, you know, they change out the large to the small. And I think, I don't think any of the, the these, this one right here is double-sided. So, you know, whatever. But, and I knew I wanted just a nice traditional green and red. If you want to annoy me, let's talk about, this annoys me, Michael's paper situation. Okay. Michaels has a a hundred pound stock collection that's red, and they call it Fruit Punch. I need Michaels to stop putting five different colors in one in one thing. I need one color, and I need it to correspond perfectly, or as close to perfect, with one of the sixty five pounds. They are driving me insane with that. They have another color that they just came out with for holiday that's all one color, which is cranberry. And they usually don't carry holly green until holiday. The cranberry is beautiful. Um, you guys are going to, well, surprise, I'm doing a Christmas album. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. I'm designing a Christmas album. And I would like to do the whole album in one color. And it's just annoying me. And then why can't they just do their hundred pound cardstock in 12 by 12 also. I don't know why Michaels hates me. Why does Michaels hate me? Come on, guys. I mean, this is not rocket science. You guys are just now, Michaels is just now kind of getting into the whole paper crafters. Seriously, you know, okay, fine. I'm with you, but help me, help me, help you, Michaels. Why does your paper vary in color? I need the same color and I need, you know, a whole pack full of solids. And that is my Michael's rant for today. See, you guys feel me. Okay, good. It's not just me. It's not just me. Come on. What is happening? Why do I get the dull one? I have one that I purposely keep that's dull. <laughs> and I always pull it out. Should not be dull. What are you talking about? What what's happening December first? I saw them summoning in Hobby Lobby. What what is happening? Um, who's doing a meet up? What's happening? Autocorrect. How do you do? Gotcha, gotcha. Sybil, I went on a tan a rant. Fireside and sugar blush. Okay, cool. I'm glad. Oh yeah, we talked about that. We you did tell me that. Shanti Wednesday. Oh, you guys are doing a meetup today. So you left them there. I grabbed one. Uh, Maya, I grabbed one from. Um, from Hobby Lobby, too. Oh, yeah, that's Rosalind. I keep forgetting Rosalind, that's you. Packs of multicolored paper right now. Oh.
Oh, you guys are having a a meetup, huh? All right. I need to come, <coughs> excuse me, I need to come to Atlanta. I should have come out there for the conference, but no, they didn't want me to be great. I had a midterm the day of the conference. And since this is my first semester in school, I do not want to play and chance and mess up anything right now. So we shall see going forward if I can make one of these conferences. Hopefully I will. Hopefully so. Congratulations. Eh, well, thank you. I just took my first midterm. I made it. I have my first two midterms. I made it. I didn't die. I don't know how well I have done just yet, but we shall see. I'm trying to be like Harry. Is it Harry? No, it's not Harry. It's, it's a Shanika. Who is it that's over there that's in school right now? And they're on their last leg. Is it Shanika? It might be Shanika. You guys want me to be your special guest? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I grabbed five sheets of each. Well, I think I did. If not, it's sitting right there. Working on my master's in social work. Master's in social work. There are quite a few people over in that group who are working on their MSWs. Cutting this down to 10, and then I'm going to cut two at four by 10. <laughs> That's right, Rosalind. That's you. <laughs> I rolled my husband over, and where did he do? Roll right back over. Y'all know how that goes. <laughs> I feel so bad. He did. He did work very late or early, I guess I should say. Okay. I can't believe you guys hang out with me while I sit around and cut paper. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun hanging with y'all. I am trying to go to go wild, but we'll see. We shall see how that works. Go on and get it, Latrice. Don't be scared. Ain't nothing to it but to but to try to do it. You got it. It's not going to do anything but help you out in the long run. Make you feel more accomplished and all the good things. I say go for it.
<laughs> Thank you, Latrice. I try. Yes, yeah, in Vegas this year, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump for me, which is really why I'm going. Shanti Ray, you heard that's where the magic and planning happens? No, no, that's not true. <laughs> Tell you that now. That's where that's what's very popular. That's what I will say about it. It's very, very, very popular. Is that the sparkly box you were just talking about? I actually, I want to see your box. This red paper is pretty. It is so pretty. It's like a very saturated, it's a red. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, why on earth couldn't they pull out a 10, I mean, a 100 pound stack like that? I don't know. This is nice. I need to run to Joann's and see what Joann's has in the way of holiday right now. Jay, that's something that I'll be doing next year. I know since me telling a story about how I'm going to do it this year. But, you know, this year I tell everybody it's about purchasing with purpose. And that will continue on till next year also. However, next year is all about organizing what you have so that you know what you have. Because if your collections are anything like mine, they're getting out of control. I have a serious collection of art supplies and things. And ha I find myself at the storage saying all the time, I don't know if I have this. So I've started with a new system. And I'm definitely going to tell you guys all about it before the new year comes. And we, I hope that you guys will adopt this new system too. So that way we will be ready. You know, when we purchase, we'll know what's going to go with what and so on and so forth. It's on my list of videos. I wish I could put something magical together too. I want to do a ball. I don't know why I want to throw a ball, but I do. I bet, yeah, if you guys buy stickers, I bet that is difficult to know which, especially if you guys are buying those sticker books by like We Are Memory Keepers and mm, I can just see that. I think we all do. I think we all need an effective system so that we can manage everything. And uh, I believe I have found one that you all will love, 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 love. Shanti Ray, I need to be the first one with the button that says wash is trash. <laughs> I, need, I need that button in my life. I am not a washy girl and I need to quit pretending like I am because I'm not. It's not who I am. I need to be okay with that. I'm cutting this piece at four by eleven. I'm cutting the other one at four by seven and a quarter. Hmm.
inclusive randomness, probably. I am going to the Scrapbook Expo. The Stamp and Scrapbook Expo will be here in a couple weeks. And they usually have a button maker company. I see them every year. Of course, the year that I'm looking for them, they won't be there. But I think I'm going to buy a button maker so I can make my own buttons. So that I can make my own buttons. I've got a girlfriend who loves buttons. It's a whole world of people out there who collect the buttons and who um, trade the buttons. It's like a button thing. And I want to be able to play if I want to play. is addictive it makes me feel great though it's it i love it i just love crafting and yes it is definitely addictive and you have to be careful because they will have you wanting all the things but one thing i can say about the craft industry that differs from beauty industry because these people will come out and just be lying to you. I feel like the people in the craft world have a pretty decent sense of integrity, I think. They don't just tell you, eh, buy this, buy this, buy this. They're like, hey, I use this this one time. This is what I made with it. And then if you like it, you can get it too. And I like that. I want you all to trust what I'm telling you. I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, she's getting a kickback. And right now... Ain't nobody kicking your girl back the way <laughs> I would like. So I just, I like it. I like it. I like it. See you later, Stacy. Oh, wow, Ruth. That's serious business. And I like it, Ruth. I should get crafty, too, on my license plate now. Right. All oh, those pieces are cut. Oh, yeah, I definitely <laughs> I'm definitely going to tell you the truth, the truth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Your girl's going to tell you the truth. And you're actually watching us do use the stuff that we say that we're using. What do I do now? Oh, scoreboard, scoreboard, scoreboard. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to score at a half. Then I'm going to score at three and three quarters. Then I'm going to score at seven. These are the longer pieces. I'm just going to put these to the side for now.
I'm working with these right this second. And they'll all be scored the exact same, which is a half. Three and three quarters. And seven. I love scoring. I don't know why. I just do. Um, I'm working from a, uh, I'm working from a, from the, uh, the file. I have them. I did not memorize these. That's, what this is. I absolutely do not have these memorized. I am looking at the measurement. <laughs> Bye, Jay. And seven. No, even with that album I created, I mm -mm, I couldn't tell you the measurements of that one. jump off the tracks too guys you see me jump off the track I used to do that so much when I first started scoring I used to jump off the track all the time I used to hate it because I could not understand what on earth was going on Three and three quarters and seven. I have the other one. These little guys here are going to be in half an inch from either side. Just jumped again. Jumping. You all still out there? You guys are quiet. Six and a quarter for this one here. Six 
this in a quarter. All right, Ruth, thank you. Six and a quarter. And six and a quarter. You know what else I think I'm going to try to get from the Scrapbook Expo is one of those cushions. Because I sit a lot while I'm crafting. Just like you guys. And I think I would like something that was a little bit softer up under my bottom. Folding clothes, I'm with you. I just can't tell you guys how good that, um, ooh, weeding a mandala. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Depending upon how intricate that is, that sounds very daunting. I kind of like to weed, though. If I'm in the mood, I don't mind it. What else am I looking for at the expo, scrapbook expo? I think that's it. I thought there was something else I was kind of thinking of, but I can't remember. Was there something else I was thinking of? Oh, I need to get the oxides. I need to get the Distress Oxides ink. Um, what else? We're about to make Christmas confetti. About to notch the ends of the both of these. Uh, the oxides. What else? Anything else you guys can think of that I need? That I should get? I obviously don't need any other holiday stamps. I do, however, like to get chipboard items. Like they usually have um, those chipboard, what are those called? Uh, you pull out the little drawers, the advent calendars. Those are fun. Something else you can do with paper. People are always like, what do you do with these paper pads? All kinds of stuff. I'm not really looking for anything else. I don't know what else is going to jump out at me. Something might. Something might jump out at me. I'd like to take you guys with me and be able to go live, but I don't know. Going live seems to really be funky if you don't have the right amount of service. I guess that's with any place or anybody, but... Right. That was much faster than the first time that I did that. I want to say most of them I cut each one at a time. And that was just not brilliant at all. All right. You know, just got to fold them over. I saw a Facebook post and it said, you're welcome. It said this, all you could see was this. And then it said, you're welcome. And I'm like, what? And so I saw it and I saw these staples and grabbed them. They are lovely. I like this pen. It doesn't write as smooth as the Inkjoy gel pens. But it's quite nice. It's the kind of pen that you want to have at your desk. And when people say, can I use this? You're like, sure, you can use it. And it's still a nice pen. But it's not like your favorite pen. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. I just do. Just hold it something the wrong way. This way.
You know what, Penelope? I want to do a, a mandala card. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to add that into the series now that you've said mandala. Now, all of a sudden, I want to do a mandala card. <laughs> Have you designed the tattoo that you're thinking of? Or have you seen it somewhere? There's a lady on YouTube that draws them with Sharpie oil-based markers on usually like a blended background, which are so pretty. She makes them look so easy. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. This right here, this is this Tim Holtz glass media mat. I suggest it for everybody. It's the perfect work surface, honestly. He, they knocked it out the park when they created this. I think most people who are stampers and paper crafters are probably working on these now. Predator is your favorite movie. What an interesting favorite movie. The Predator. No judgment, though, because I'd say probably one of my favorite movies for sure is Sweeney Todd. I like things that are a little bit on the darker side. <laughs> yeah, Ruth, this is an awesome, awesome surface. It's like just the perfect size for you to keep your projects not all over the place and crazy. And I'm a fan. And if you are an ink blender, and that is something that I do more than anything, I try to ink blend just about everything. It's awesome. Paint, it's easy to clean up. All you need is a little hand sanitizer usually for most things. And then I have a scraper tool with it too. It's nice, 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 nice. You just watched that movie yesterday, The Predator or um, Sweeney Todd? Sweeney Todd is my jam. I could wish I had it on. horror movies, huh? I don't, you know, I like Tim Burton dark. Like, not dark, dark. Uh, well, I'll watch a horror movie, I guess. But, like, Beetlejuice dark, um, Sweeney Todd, Edward Scissorhands. I am all Tim Burton, like, all day long. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas kind of stuff. If I were to get a tattoo, that's probably a tattoo I'd get. I saw one. Matter of fact, my husband saw this woman who had a beautiful uh, Sally and Jack. I think, did she have Sally and Jack or was it just Sally? It was a beautiful tattoo.
All right, on the red, finally. Finally. You really need to stop saying that. <laughs> That's going to be your other team, the Browns. Huh? You say so, my love. You're definitely on your own with that one. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. You're going to be one of those people talking about the Browns are going to the, to the Super Bowl. Is that what we're going to do? Oh, okay. We're not that far in yet. Huh? Hello? Hi. Hey. I'm live right there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Real life happens when one goes live. We got the husband in the background chiming in about his Cleveland Browns. Mother calling. I don't even know what she was asking about. Real life. It was not an emergency. <laughs> Brown Really, baby? You guys hear my husband over here talking about these browns? He is just a talking. What was not fun? What happened? <laughs> oh, weeding? You're all done? You didn't enjoy that process? It wasn't relaxing? <laughs> Is it like the world's most intricate mandala? That is funny. Whee. Oh, boy. I don't think I'll post this cup because I don't want any requests for it. That's funny you say that. I have um, my nail artist. 
she did a some line work for me where my nails were basically covered in nothing but tiny, tiny, small lines. And she posted it, but she said, don't ever, you know, don't ever ask for this because this is what we're not going to do. She was like, I'll never do this again. This was a once, one and done. And it's funny because the other day when she was doing this design, she was talking about somebody wanted some line work and she was like, absolutely not. So you can post it and just say, hey, one and done. And whoever is getting that is going to feel oh. so special. You guys want me to put my husband out? Because he back there just all of a sudden super talkative. Which is really? Huh. Now that is interesting. He's fine. <laughs> my husband who never wants to talk to me all of a sudden wants to talk to me. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. My husband talks to me all the time. Not usually while I'm live, though, but hey, he's there. I'm here. He's like, hey. <laughs> yeah, Penelope, where do you where do you um where do you post your stuff? Yeah, it's live today. Today it's going down. It's all the things are happening. If I had a dog, I'm sure my dog would be over here barking and knocking stuff down and all the things. Does anybody know if Joanne has their holiday stuff? Not their holiday decor, because Lord knows that was out in July. But their holiday paper crafting stuff out. Oh, okay. On your Facebook. All right. Maybe turn that down just a little bit for me. Thank you, my love. Thank you, thank you. Should I get really fancy and glue the green on the red and the red on the green? You look in a hot mess. Let me stop. See, that's what happens. All of a sudden, you want to get all the creativity, <laughs> extra creative, and start doing too much. That's why my mother always says, you do not know when to stop. And I don't. I'll just keep going and going. <laughs> of this phone folder. All right. And we'll just glue these little pockets on the back of the other ones.
these pockets are almost finished. All right. Strawberry lemonade, and I need to heat it up or I need to turn on the kettle so that I can put more in there because it was, when I tell you delicious, oh, so good. So good. It's cold now, though. I need to get one of Penelope's. Um, I need to get one of her insulated thermoses so that my tea just stays hot all the time. Strawberry lemonade. So good. I like fruity teas. So I like all the, the fruit teas and the berries and that kind of thing. I will drink just about anything warm, you know, coffee, whatever. But my preference are really fruit teas. It's just these teas are so expensive, but I love them. Do you drink tea roots? You'll make me one. That's what I'm talking about. My sister, has she made me one? I went over there and she was just, uh, she had um, things just rolling. I was like, what? Did she, she had tumblers rolling everywhere. <laughs> they were just a rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> she was getting mad at her resin. Her resin is not behaving properly. And she was over there sanding like, um, like crazy. She was over there so mad at her tumblers. I went to go pick up my paper from her. I'll show you guys what paper I'm going to use right now. She grabbed this paper stack for me. And I'm so glad that she did because they do not have it anymore. In my, um, in my Hobby Lobby. But that's okay because I'm about to have two options for Hobby Lobby. They've got a Hobby Lobby coming in my area. You guys, I cannot believe they're getting ready to put a Hobby Lobby out here. So excited about that. Look at that buffalo plaid. That's what I'm talking about. I love plaid. More buffalo. Me too. I just love plaid. And so hopefully it'll go with this red and this green that I've got going on. I can't see why it would not. I just can't see why it wouldn't. <sighs> Now here comes the hard part, not truly the hard part, but I need to pick my colors because all my pockets are red. Now it's just covering the chipboard and figuring out how I want to do it. I think I want to cover the chipboard with just straight black paper and then mat this plaid on top. I think that's what I want to do. I 
I think I want to just, because I think I want black borders around the sides. Eh, or do I want to try it for the big guns and mix a plaid pattern? Ooh, that's a lot. Maybe I'll just do red buffalo. Oh, I like this though. I like it so much. It just reminds me of the holidays. Do you like some of these? I kind of, I think I want this to be my cover. Can you guys feel my crafty? Um... <laughs> this plaid pack came from Hobby Lobby. I could not think for a second. I went to private school and plaid is amazing. Thank you very much. Although, in all honesty, the plaid was not what we wore. Oh, this is pretty. Maybe this should be the cover. I don't know what made me think of the denim, but I'm going to put the denim on the back. I still have some denim paper from that other stack, from that other project. And I'm going to make, put a denim on. I think I do. I haven't seen that in a while. Do I still have denim paper, guys? I feel like I do. But the question is, do I really? Buy two stacks of denim paper. And denim would go perfect with this in my mind. Denim paper. I doubt very strongly that I would have thrown it out. Aha, uh -huh. I do have denim paper. Clear as day. Denim, it's happening. I feel good about it. Okay, so the spine will be denim. It's going to be the darker denim or the lighter denim. Got it. charmed in oh now you want to show up miss miss brown <laughs> this combo or i don't love this buffalo with this darker I do, however, like the darker with the red and green combination. I don't love that. That I think it's going to be this. I think. You didn't get a notice. I was your notice. <laughs> 
<laughs> I told you. <laughs> I think we're going with this one. And then I'll do the other one on the inside. Yep, it's happening. Look at these dimensions. What is this, an eight and a half by 11 pad? No, it's probably a eight and a half by 11 pad. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about you in my mind right now. Talking about you. A wonderful example of using your stuff, isn't it? <laughs> a lovely example. Really, I just grabbed my envelope punch board to cut the paper with. That's an example of losing your mind. One to nine here. Nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to go to five right here. Nice. This is a nice trimmer, guys. I can't say it enough. It's got some things that I do not like about it, but it's got a whole lot of stuff I do. Did I? I didn't look. I'm sure I did. I'm not. I am covering this album, but I'm not actually designing it for real today. Not for real, for real. I don't think. I don't think that's. I'm just trying to get this created here. Um, I am not, I'm not going to decorate the entire thing in its entirety. I'm just going to build it and then 
we'll see what happens after it gets built. I'm just trying to build it. I mean, we've got all of November to decorate it. But I want it built. And so people can start to decorate theirs if they want. I noticed that people are starting to do their December dailies and that kind of thing already, which is fine. But I don't want to be, I don't want my people feeling like, hey, but we wanted to do your version and you started so late. So we're going to build this sucker. And then I might not decorate it until another video. I might break up my card series with decoration. Who knows? Who knows? You thought I was going to change it. Change what? Am I changing it? Oh, no. I'm not changing anything. I like the. I didn't change it. I like this um, album. It's pretty cool the way it is. What did you think I was going to change? What are we talking about? Are we talking about the same things right now? Are we talking about the same stuff? Mm. I started watching some so she I saw I saw mine she did mine that she did hers today she did another woman's today I've been watching them they're pretty cool you thought I was going to change the paper I used today Mm -mm. No. What paper? I'm confused. I'm confused. The paper that I purchased? Is that what you're saying? Deidre, what's up? Miss Brown's hanging out with me today. She did a good job of showcasing it. I, I, I appreciate her so much. It was a lot of fun. Yes, that's it. Rosa Kelly scrapbooking. Penelope, I hope whoever gets it really does enjoy that because I did. I load. I loaded it up pretty good. I feel good about what I, what I put in there. I put all the kinds of things that I would want, and maybe they'll try a different craft that they've never tried before. That kind of thing. You know. You know what I mean. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That means that I did it right. Because again, I just, I want to give somebody something that they would actually, that I would want, not my stuff that I don't want.
this is going to look interesting. And I'm okay with that. Penelope, I'm excited about those stamps too. She got some, whoever gets it is going to get some pretty, pretty cool stamps in my opinion too. But you see we're stampers, but you see that I gave them the VersaFine Clear so that they can try that and fall in love. Because that's certainly what I have done. What's up, Alex? So it's what? Three o'clock in the morning where you are? Alex, should you be in bed? <laughs> are you trying to stay up with the big kids? Do you have to go to work in the morning? Five a.m. You want to stay up with the big kids? <laughs> Dallas? No, they didn't win today. The Rams beat San Francisco today. Oh, the Browns. Baby, how are you watching it on your phone when you're sitting? Oh, a we? It's a we thing now. You are officially a Cleveland Brown fan. I can't with you right now. What are y'all talking about? Because my husband over there is, I don't, he's, he's, he's over there being strange. Deidre, that, that was a cool find. Um, not only, they, there's the new, the new ones. And I was like, oh, these are beautiful. And then I was like, they fit. I was like, they totally fit in this drawer. Going in the drawer. And then I was able to fit the small paper pack that match them inside. So if they want to do a small mini album, totally be cool. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't think anybody was going to like this combo of denim and plaid. I've been real country lately. I don't know what's up. You guys see my country quilted card? Oh, Mariah, you got to take care of business. <laughs> oh yeah, Alex, I finally changed my nails. Nails are new. We've got fall going on. We've got fall. Hmm, that worked out randomly well. Okay. Hmm. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I'm like, why does it feel so flimsy? Okay. Come on, Matt. Get your life together. Needs the needs the chip or <laughs> or the cereal box. Come on. Did you see that? It was like I was having a first time moment. Dad Prescott got smacked. Oh, oh, no, he wasn't even in the end zone. What's he doing? <laughs> Thank you for the sound effects. <laughs> My husband's over here being terrible, y'all. <laughs> making himself laugh, apparently. Why didn't I put tape on this? I guess I could have. Oh, well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Having a nervous moment. I'm wondering if these if the Honey Nut Cheerios are going to show. It's all right. We shall see. We're going to find out together and see if Honey Nut Cheerios is going to show through the plaid. <laughs> if it does, we will learn how I'm going to fix it on camera. Oh, watch out now, Ruth. You got your miter tool. I don't even have mine out. You got your miter tool, but I promise you I'm going to use it. Alex, if you have a trimmer, you should have a scoreboard. It's, it's probably a scoreboard attached to your trimmer, right? Oh, good. I don't see any Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> it's lovely. You need a heat tool? Wagner. And or range if you're willing to get two because you are a paper crafter or you're a crafter in general, excuse me, you'll find that you like the um, the ranger because it doesn't put out wind, it puts out actual heat, but it's not the best to actually heat emboss with. So I like having the ranger tool and it's quiet. If you need to dry something, that's the tool you want to use to dry. But the other one, the Wagner, is the one that you want to use to actually heat emboss for like stamping, trying to melt the powder. Now it's time for everybody's favorite tool. Yeah, if you go, you can bring you back some chicken if you want. Ouch. Oops, sorry guys, I'm causing an earthquake trying to get my tools. Call me in when you're on your way back and I'll let you know. Miter tool. I hate when I do that. Hate when I do that. Where is the? Here we go. Tape first. Slice later. There we go. Yeah. Hot glue gun, cricket, and your laminator. What are my three favorite tools? Probably a ranger blending sponge. Um, pro definitely my cricket. A cricket and something else I use constantly. Probably this. I don't know if you can call it a tool, but I use it every single day. Rikita, when did you leave? You didn't say bye. <laughs> Everybody name your three favorite crafting tools. What you got? Browns 
Buccaneers. Wow, that was just a fail. The Browns beat the Buccaneers in overtime. Come on, guys, what you got? Give me your three favorite tools, your crafty tools. Your cricket paper cutter, yeah. Metal ruler and cricket air tube. Okay, okay. I don't even know what an SNC is. Your ATG gun. Okay, I'm with you. A SNC. What is an SNC? Uh, SNC. I don't know what that is. Your cricket, your scissors, and your cutter. Yeah. Oh, your stamp platform, Missy Poo. That was a good one. Your Gemini, okay, okay. Your ATG gun. The fuse has a die cutter. I didn't know that. You say you go flop. Have you gotten your, your assignment yet, Alex? I need you to be assigned. It's, I just said the other day, I, I don't know who I was talking to. I was like, I need her to be assigned to San Diego. Bring me wings and call. What, how, you're not coming back right back right now, huh? It'll be later. Okay. Call me on the house phone. I might still be live. What? Call me on the house phone. I might still be live. Bye, honey. Finally, Mr. Chatty leaves. Oh, my goodness. Wasn't he chatty today, guys? Most people don't even know he exists. And today he just decided he wanted to be super chatty. What's up with the chatty husband today? After he, you know, was snoring all loudly. can be snoring while I'm going live, sir. Alex, I will be counting down the hours till Friday. Love these pin blades. Love them so much. All right. Michelle, um, this came from, though it came from uh, Etsy. Etsy, Etsy. It's everybody's favorite tool. Whenever I bust that tool out, they're like, uh, wait a minute. Where did that come from? It's an Etsy tool. Oh, where to go? They just show you because it has the thing on it. Where does it go so quick? Like I put it in the same place all the time, and then I can't grab it easily. Oh, that's gonna hurt. What do I do with it? Oh, I'm reaching for it where it should be, and it's right next to me. Here we go. It's a uh, colorwayarts.com. Can you guys see that? Hopefully, it's clear. Colorwayarts.com.
my favorite part, you guys, of all times is wrapping chipboard. I don't know why I love to wrap chipboard. I think it's because even though it looks ugly, the process is ugly, the finished product is usually very nice no matter what you do. No matter what you do, the finished product is usually just what you want it to be. I think that's why I like it so much. That feels nice. <clears throat> I'm going to take this part and I'm just going to pull this out. No chipboard showing. <laughs> Penelope, you got to go make a beverage. I heard that. I needed to, I should go heat up my, um, I should have had my husband put the kettle on before he left to freshen up my tea that is oh so good, oh so tasty. <laughs> All right. Perfect. I am pleased. Or this side, it really doesn't matter. Six and a half dozen of the other. Nice, pretty spine, which will say 20, um, what is this, 2018? What am I going to cover the inside with? I think it's going to be this paper right here. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I sure am. You guys probably think I'm crazy. It's happening. I like it. I like this paper. The question is, what am I going to put in the center? Is it going to be black? Is it going to be the dark denim? You guys tell me, should I put the dark denim in the inside or should I put black on the inside? Thank you, Ruth. It is getting blurry. Why is that? Is it getting tired? It's probably tired. Did I wear out my camera? I think this plaid pattern confuses my, my camera. I think it's making it go crazy. <laughs> oh, Missy Poo, wash and go. You got it. Nobody told me if I'm doing the dark denim or if I am doing the black. On the inside. Do the black. The black it is. Perfect. I'm about to confuse my computer, my computer again. My camera. My camera does not like that plaid. Camera's like, what on earth? Are you doing? No, I just need one.
What camera, Rikina? My camera or your camera? It's this plaid. I don't think that camera likes my plaid. Oh. I um I think this camera gets very confused by this plaid. It doesn't know where it wants to focus. So when I break it up, hopefully it should be okay. But mm -mm, it's mad. Oh, you're making a 3D camera. Oh, okay. That's just you. <laughs> that's that's you. That's not us. I think I'm going to put the black underneath. Yep, I think I'm putting the black underneath. I had a black piece of paper that was just hanging out around here. Is it wide enough? Let's see. Penelope, nothing? No, it's not as long. You are absolutely right. There are things that I like about this being on this platform better than Facebook. And things that I like about the Facebook platform better than being here. The delay is not bad at all here. But when you're trying to go live, going live on Facebook seems to not be as easy as going live on Facebook. In no way should this album take as long as it's taking me to put together. But frankly, guys, I'm just chilling and hanging out with you guys. And I really don't care. <laughs> I just want to hang out and be great with my people. With my crafty friends. So, hey, we are here. We are hanging out. It's taken a while. Come and go as you please.
All right. that a little something extra you left me what is up with everybody leaving and not saying bye and then saying they back you and Rakita That's you. You left me. <laughs> no, you're fake. You're fake making it. You're actually watching it. See, but you leave and then you come back and you don't say, hey, I'm back. Then I'm like, but where did you go? You left me. <laughs> Anybody got any ideas for my nails for Christmas? I've got fall leaves now, but I'm like, what should I do for Christmas? Or actually, I should say, what should I do for December? Because Christmas, for whatever reason, I just like to have red nail polish. Is that weird? She was polite. <laughs> Bobbles. No. I talk, Bob, are you talking about for my nails, Bobbles? Mariah, you're doing the most. You are doing all the things. You are supporting all the people. Go you. And planning. You're amazing. What's your besties live about right now? What's she doing? Is it me? That would be so funny if it was me. Hey, Lori. <laughs> Is it me? Am I your bestie? <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to put I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus on my nails How How y'all how hmm, Ink all over my buffalo plaid I'm good with that My inky hands This is why I ink stuff 
Now I got ink all over my hand. That's a fail. Thank God I used dark paper, right guys? <laughs> Who's talking about domestic violence? What happened? What is happening? Oh, you're live. The live is talking about DV. Okay. I'm like, whoa. Whoa. What? <laughs> Who is over here? See? Too heavy for my channel. <laughs> Lori, thank you. This is that tiding. This is that plaid tidings paper from Hobby Lobby I was talking about a long time ago. That I'm all excited about. <laughs> Mommy and Santa Claus kissing. Actually, my artist, my nail artist is probably cool enough to be able to do it. But I don't know. I don't know. So you saw the sugar blush in person today? Y'all know how I feel about pink. But, um, you know, that sugar, something about that sugar blush palette, it's just done so well. But my store is out of it now. They don't have it anymore. your hubby i said hello he missed my hubby he was all in it this morning i don't know what was going on with him he was just all in the business just wanting to have a conversation and everything it's buffering No, I didn't. You know, he came home. He worked like he was at work last night late. So I didn't show him that fishing video, but I will. I will definitely show it to him. That's funny because at one. No. Well, let's see. Um, at one point, I was like, wasn't there a video I was supposed to show him? And I was thinking and then he went to sleep. And then that was the end of that. You guys are waiting for the wedding to start. Lori, was that you who had to put those little um, balls on 300 cupcakes and you had that little machine that shoots them out? That was awesome. I was entertained. That was a heck of a little machine doodaddy thingy there. Rikita, I'm surprised you actually don't have one. 
for when you were baking, it just it's like it shoots BB guns. It's like a BB gun disp dispenser. A BB gun dispenser. That's funny. <laughs> I just cracked myself up with that one. But it is like a little BB gun dispenser. asking does anybody know if joanne's arts and crafts has their christmas paper out yet You haven't seen anything at Joanne's? No holiday paper yet? I swear we only go to Michael's. Nobody like we'll go to Joe, we'll take Joanne's coupons and use them at Michael's, but nobody ever is like, hey, I'm at Joanne's. Like never, never ever. What if I put them on backwards? What if I put this one on backwards? Why am I putting it on backwards? What am I trying to accomplish with that? Kind of interesting, I think, to put this one on backwards and then <laughs> really, Penelope, I have one of the largest Joann's in the country. So my Joann's usually has, you know, quite a bit to select from. Quite a bit. Yeah, I see it, Alex. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Are you getting ready to start doing some, some Afghans and stuff for the holidays? Shandaya, are you getting ready to do some, um, some Christmas knitting? My mother's working on something that's beautiful. I don't know what exactly it is, but I want it. <laughs> it's got like zigzag it's like a zigzag pattern I think she's cro she is crocheting she's not knitting she doesn't knit she crochets but it's kind of gorgeous You're a crocheter too. 
somebody had made some little booty looking socks or something that I thought were so cute. Little booty like socks that were just love them, love them, love them, love them. Wrong color. Y'all were just going to let me do it, too. Ooh, making blankets. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Teacher getting married. Good stuff. Havoc and mayhem. Love it. <laughs> Cool, Lori. It's up. It's up. It's the Halloween tutorial. <laughs> Havoc and mayhem. I love it. When I tell y'all that tea is cold, it is cold as ice. Oh, they broke a wreath in two places while it was hanging on the door. What on earth were those babies doing? Are they twins or do they just like to play together? <laughs> so the camera's giving you some trouble, huh? This is coming out so much better than I thought. Um, with this red and green, I really like the contrast and what's happening here. I like it. It feels warm and cozy. 11 and 6. Oh, no. They too big to be tearing. The 11 year old too big to be tearing up some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? My 11 year old is. um is like a, my mother calls her like a bull in a china shop because she's just big and she doesn't know how big she is and she's kind of um 
she's coming into her coordination now, but our coordination was rough for a while. So again, a bull in a china shop. So I get it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I can see it. Bossing each other around and ignoring each other. That's a pretty big age gap. Cricket jewelry tools and foam adhesive. Latrice, did you go back to the uh, to the three to the three tools that we said? Um, see you later, Ruth. Did you go back to the three tools that we were talking about? on day is she she mad at me ask us does your six-year-old watch sophia the first mariah me too me too it's almost there um and then after this i'll go through with the fireside and that kind of stuff and i don't know how much i've, I've been on here what three hours thus far hanging out talking running my mouth You guys enjoy it well i'm glad i'm not gonna keep this one up this one is just for you guys who are here hanging out with me and for anybody new who's popped in see what I, we got going on over here 
but I might do, it depends upon how I do it. If I do a, if I videotape myself decorating the December daily or when I just do the December day, who knows? But I know we've got a while before we need to, um, we've got a while before we need to actually start using it. It's just a cereal box and craft paper. That's it. Yeah, Miss Lady Diva, uh-huh. Yes. It's just a simple, um, just a simple whatever. If you look at my where did I post that? I posted the creators, the creator of December Daily, her thoughts about what she does. And it's just her cataloging up until the holiday, until the actual holiday. However, for me, I'm going to take this all the way through to New Year's. This is going to be a New Year's spread. This right here, some kind of way, will be a, um, I wish I had thought that through because I would have made this a, but anyway, um, oh, I still can. Hmm. Just thought about that. Anyway, this is going to be, this side right here is going to be New Year's. And I'm going to just jot down the things that I want to accomplish in the new year. She doesn't like it anymore. Aww. Oh, she stopped watching. Not me. I thought she stopped watching the YouTube. She doesn't like Sophia the First anymore. Oh, my goodness. But I love Sophia the First. It's my jam. That's the husband asking if I want chicken. Yes, it is. Hello? Where are you? At Louisiana? Um, some wings and some fries. Uh, like three. No. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, your daughter has the coolest. The older she gets, the more she's really going to love her birthday, I hope. I hope she's going to love it. That's pretty awesome. A New Year's Eve baby. What a cool birthday to have. Mariah, what's stopping you from doing this album? Thank you, Alex. I needed somebody to let me know that because, again, it's one of my addictions. Mariah, me too. Um, I think that's a cool birthday and Halloween. <laughs> Man, I wish I had a Halloween birthday. How cool would that be? You're scared. It looks complicated. You do realize I just cut a cereal box and glued paper on top of it, right? Mm -mm. You don't get to think that this is complicated because I just did it in three hours. I just sat here and did this. Now, time consuming. Yes. Have I been talking and not focusing? Yes. But you could do this. And it would, I don't think it would even take you as long as it's taken me. I folded and glued some paper together on some cereal box. This is not intimidating. It doesn't have to be. Trying something for the first time, well, I get it. But it's going to be fun. I'm going to put some little tags in here. And I'm going to slip it out. And then I'm going to write stuff on it. And then at the end of next year or whatever, it's just fun in my opinion. I like it. I journal in my planner. Whenever I need to get something out, I just get it out. But I'm very curious to see how this feels doing a December daily. And everybody else has tried it and has liked it. So I want to do it too. Glistening glow. Somebody else talked about the glistening glow. And I, I said I hadn't seen it. And then they were like, yes, you have because it's... <laughs> You showed it on, on one of your lives and then they screenshotted it for me and now I can't remember what it looks like. Oh, it's the black one. That's the black paper. 
You're not sure about the sheet inserts yet? You mean the inserts that are going inside here? You saw on the other ones I did tags. On this one, I kind of have an idea to do snowman, maybe. Maybe snowman. Because one of my papers is the safe freeze paper and it's got all... Um, I still haven't figured out how I want to do this album because it has 16 flaps. So I can do 32, you know, I can do 32 spreads front and back, but I'm like, do I want to put the number right here, the date right here, or do I want to put the date right here on like a little snowman that sticks out and then maybe put the date in his belly. Huh? That's funny. You know, options, all the options guys. And then when I flip it up, you know, is that cool? Or do I want to put an insert in here that flips this way? I'll show you guys in a second kind of ideas. The, the world is at my fingertips. Because at some point, I've got to acknowledge the fact that looking at it, you know, from this way, I'll see all the, the, the numbers, you know, one date, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. Or do I just want to have snowmen? That poke out to little bellies. I don't know. We shall see. Alex, it's cold out there. Yeah, it's kind of 90 degrees here. It was 91 yesterday. Annoyed. It does not feel like anybody's fall in Los Angeles, California. Oh, yeah, this isn't, this is, you know, this is just me putting together the same album with holiday colors. This isn't really a tutorial per se. I'm not really teaching anybody how to do this and not, I'm just putting it together on camera. That's all. That's honestly all I'm doing. Miami. I bet it doesn't feel like fall at all in Miami. I am just, this album makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. So I guess I can't go to Joanne's because that's just going to take away all the warm and fuzzies when I hit that 90 degree heat outside. <laughs> 66, I'll take 66. 66 sounds nice right about now. Forty-three. <laughs> oh, Detroit is your spot? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Detroit.
Houston is being bipolar. It's swinging from 53 to almost 80. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, see you later, Miss Lady Diva. I will probably still be here. Maybe. See you later, Deidre. Thanks for hanging out. Just chilling with me. I am very pleased with how holidays looks. It is so holiday. If this does not put you in the holiday mood, you are Mr. Scrooge or Mrs. Scrooge for sure. All this red and green. And now I got a whole, what is it, 50 sheets of red and green paper. <laughs> I did not plan this out properly. Oh, you know what? Cards are coming up, holiday cards. Maybe I will do a mass production in one of mine. I should absolutely mass produce something so I can show you all how easy it is to mass produce things when you feel like it. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to mass produce the heck out of something with red and green paper. Have me stuck with all this red and green paper trying to do a December daily for my people. Thank you, Penelope. Thanks, Alex. That was the last little tab right there. This is all she wrote for the tabs.
You're scared to mass produce? No. The key to mass production is simple design. Actually, I should say the key to mass production is knowing what you're getting into. If you want to mass, like I've mass produced a couple of times. I was thinking about mass producing really quickly for November 3rd. However, I have been told I better not because, you know, <laughs> got a lot on the plate right this second. However, mass production is kind of knowing what you're getting into, honestly. And being okay with it, coming up with a design that makes sense and having a, um, a line, an assembly line. But it looks like I'm going to be mass producing the heck out of something because I have all this red and green paper. I don't mind having a bunch of red paper, but not feeling a bunch of green paper just sitting around here. And believe it or not, my holiday album that I'm pretending like I'm not doing and not telling anybody about will be not in... in You'll never guess the colors, but it won't be red and green. off paper Ooh. just cut up some paper mm. not the right size anyway paper wet why is it wet? Because I had it. Not doing it right, guys. I am not doing it right. <laughs> I see you, Rikita. <laughs> Hey, Alicia, what you doing? What's really going on? Y'all are letting me cut things strange over here. Driving back to school, huh? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it there. Say that. I'm not packing away, so that's why. Everything looks like it is not straight. Nope, can't make that make sense. Ouch. Ah. Hm. Gonna have to do it. Just gonna have to do it. I wish I had a bunch of navy cardstock. <clears throat> I really like it. I like it so much.
What's up, Alex? He just spoke to you in English. <laughs> did you not see that coming? How did that make you feel? Do you want, did you want him to speak to you in Japanese? Are you offended? am I doing? You guys, I need to pick a measurement and then stick with it. I'm going to pick this one here. You just didn't see it coming. I understand he threw you for a loop, he threw you for a loop, he threw you for a curve. Do people assume that you speak Japanese when they look at you? <laughs> I wonder if he saw that coming. <laughs> I'm entertained now. I am thoroughly entertained. to Tokyo Disney, Alex? Nope. No, you haven't been to Tokyo Disney or do people think that you speak Japanese? I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know what part of the conversation we're on. Forgive me. You're back. I missed you. I'm over here messing up a whole bunch of cuts. Just messing them up. Having to cut new paper. Seriously? Aw, oh, baby. No way. It might mess around the cycle. <laughs> it might cycle tonight, my love. 
All these games are on. Oh, cool. <laughs> Welcome to the world of regular, uh, regular work, my love. I said, welcome to the world of regular working. Huh? I said, welcome to the world of regular work hours. You're going soon? Ooh, cool. I'm excited. You said you're going to wait? I leave early. Right. So I can park right in front. Right. Right. I'm going to wait in front for somebody to pull off after they get a job. <laughs> I'm surprised you're going back right now. You sound like you want me to tell you it's okay if you don't go back. You good? Okay. Well, you are way over there in Japan. So, Tokyo Disney, you're going soon. I'm jealous. Take lots of pictures. For me, please. I'm just doing a little dressing of my gussets. I ain't tripping because money ain't working. I know. I know it. The dressing of the gussets. See, you get me. Baby is really talking to me today. My husband like a full conversation with me today, ladies. Uh-huh, I am. And he is making a lot of noise. <laughs> but he did come back with dinner. <laughs> the hubs. He's a trip today. <laughs> Baby, every time you hit that, you're causing an earthquake in California on my screen. It's okay. You're just shaking it up a little bit. Thank you. Lisa, you never get the gussets right? What? I, did you see how many times I recut this gusset? I kept trying to... I didn't. I don't know what I was doing. Just poor measuring, I guess. I cut this. How many... Oh, you guys are watching me. I just kept recutting it and cutting it again. And cutting it again. Then I was being frugal with the paper. I didn't want to cut another sheet of buffalo paper. But you guys know I throw everything in the trash can, so I put trash can in the, put the, the excess in the trash can. Then when I went to go get it, it had a baby wipe in there. So then it was wet, so then I had to cut a new sheet. You know, gussets, hey. And these gussets aren't all the same size, but I'm okay with that. I'm not mad. Fish and baked sweet potatoes, huh? Mm. My husband just bought home some Louisiana fried chicken. Thank you, Mariah. They don't have Christmas paper yet? That makes me wonder what the heck is going on because at this point they should absolutely have Christmas paper. 
Like you guys know how I feel about people doing all these holiday cards and stuff right now. I really am annoyed by that. But I understand why they're doing it. That's because all these companies are trying to get us our stuff before holidays actually come. So I get it. But I don't know what's up with Joanne's. Now they, they should have their stuff out by now. I've done one right here and right here. Hmm. Nope. I don't think so. All right, ladies. This sucker, I can officially say, is built. What am I going to put on the front? What is going on the front of this puppy here? December Daily is built. Lisa, it's like water. It's a consistency that I had never felt in an adhesive before. It's very, 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 very thin, like water. It almost just runs out. Strange consistency glue. The first time, the very first moment that I used it, I was annoyed by that. I was like, what kind of glue is this? But then I started to, then I started to actually use the glue and, and see how it behaved. And I was like, oh yeah, this is lovely. But initially I was like, what on earth? Weird consistency. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one with this. Ooh, hoo -hoo. sweater, weather, paper. Happy holidays, peace and joy. Of course, I love some more buffalo plaid. This is a nice stack. 
I've got some cool cut aparts. This paper pad here, this is the Safe Freeze. This is the one that I really wanted. Got, it's double sided. Plaid. Oh, <laughs> addicted to plaid. Oh, I like the size of these. So these are what I'm going to use to decorate. Ooh, lots of holly. I like this one. Poinsettias, of course. And this one's double-sided. The Safe Freeze. And then, oh, Fireside. Sounds like I'm saying Ironside. You guys remember Ironside? <laughs> Look at Perry Mason. Y'all have no clue what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> yeah. mm. these are deeper it's got some gold accents a big tis the season to be jolly that could go on the front some snowflakes a truck like this little car, that bow, of course. I love that. Look at Shanta. He looks cute. Yeah, dog. Mm -mm, not for me. This one. Oh, yeah. I like that season's greeting. Making spirits bright. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> Telling my age, yeah, Penelope. I guess that one got away from me. <laughs> All right, y'all. This felt good to get done. Something I can check off my list. My December daily is built. It is not decorated. I'll probably decorate it sometime in November. And you know me, all albums need a box. So I've got an idea for what I want this box to look like. We'll see if I can bring it to fruition. I don't mind you buying paper as long as you use it. See you later, Alex. Yeah, I know what I want this box to look like, but we'll see if it actually works. So I'm going to end this live. I will probably eat. And then... Um, I might come back and play and do a card or something later on in a couple hours. We'll see. We shall see. I'll get ready for tomorrow and then look at what my recording schedule looks like and then go from there. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me for what? Three hours and so? Gosh, how long have I been on here? About three hours? Three hours and 30 minutes? I'm going to eat up this chicken and I will talk with you all later. Bye.